Raymond. Shed. Finally. Where the hell have you been? Look, I... Uh, do you have any idea what's going on? What happened at the warehouse? Raymond, do you ever actually read my reports? Your reports? All I have to do is read the goddamn newspapers. They're calling it a massacre. If it ever came out that the police were involved, we're dead. It won't. Well, you can't know that. You at least, you at least could have turned Siwa over to us. It would have helped our case. That would have put the entire operation at risk. What does Penju say? You know, he's not your handle, Way. I am. Well, then fucking handle it, Raymond. Well, how'd you think this was gonna go down? Huh? Whatever it takes. You remember that? You wanted results, and you can't get them sitting behind a desk, nose in a rule book, with a stick up your ass. Look, Raymond, I am doing what needs to be done. No, no, you've crossed the line, Way. I'm gonna terminate this operation. You can't do that. Pendrew won't allow it. Pendrew may like to take chances. I don't. And you are dangerous. Fine. But before you go back to your office to try and pull the plug, go ahead and tell Penju that I just met the chairman of the Sun on Yi. The chairman? <laughs> Wait, you're, you're just a foot soldier. Well, this foot soldier has just been marked for promotion because I made sure Suwa got out safely. It'll be in my report, and maybe this time you'll actually read it. Yeah, he mentioned it the other day. Congratulations. <laughs> no problem at all, Mrs. Chu. Hello, Wei. Thanks for driving me around. Yeah, no problem. So, where are we going? The flower shop. I still have to pick the color I want. You won't believe how much work it is to get ready for a wedding. We've been planning for eight months now, and there's still so much to be done. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, it better be perfect. My wedding has to be perfect. So, Wei, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no. My life, it wouldn't be a good idea right now. Your life is why it'd be good. You have to have someone you can be soft and with. It's very important. If you're hard all the time, one day you'll forget how to be soft. Then <laughs> If you say so. I do say so. You are family now, Way. I have to look out for you, just like Winston. After the wedding, I'm gonna find someone. So how do you get on with Winston's mother? Uh, she's a handful. But, you know, her bark is worse than that. And I know. How about her meekly? Ha! That's worse than her bark for sure. No, she used to scare me, but then one day, I was having a problem with Winston. He wasn't paying enough attention to me, too distracted. And Mrs. Chu gave him a big lecture in front of the whole gang. I thought she might use that cleaver on him. Ever since then, Winston's been an absolute doll. And even though she still yells a lot, I know her heart is in the right place. Well, you're lucky. I mean, my mother never liked my girlfriends. I guess it's hard for the moms. Well, you know, I used to have a thing for blondes, too, and that drove her crazy. Not enough if I went out with a Chinese-American girl, but a whitey? <laughs> well, it's good to know she was loyal to her people. No, she's loyal to her prejudices, more like. That, too? We are. Ah, so good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. I'm here to finalize the details of the flower arrangement. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm just the driver. I'm just gonna.
gonna change back and then we'll be done. Uh, actually, there is one other thing. Black orchids. This probably sounds silly, but it was my mother's favorite flower. And now that she's gone, I was thinking that I'd love to have a black orchid centerpiece. I'm afraid that's impossible. <laughs> there are none to be found in Hong Kong. Really? Well, I thought they had some down at the Garden Temple. Well, yes, but they're not for sale. The other day, the CEO of Old Boy Trading wanted one for his daughter. He told him they offered Temple $100,000. They still say no. <laughs> it's incredible, no? <laughs> a black orchid at a wedding guarantees that the couple stays together for the rest of their lives. Oh, well, Wei, come on. We can go now. Next, we need to pick up the wedding cake. So you got a cake picked out? Winston's in charge of that. He knows I'm very particular about cakes, but he promised I wouldn't be disappointed. I'm sure Winston will impress me. It's our wedding after all. <laughs> and your wedding has to be perfect. Now you're getting it. So your mother took you to the States? Yeah, you know, she loved Hong Kong, but she wanted to give me and my sister a change of scenery. Oh, were you being a bad little boy? <laughs> no, it, it was Mimi, my sister. Growing up in old prosperity, she she started down a particular road and couldn't get off of it. And my mother hoped that moving to San Francisco would shake her up, change who she hung out with, you know? Did it? Yeah, for a while. But some habits die hard, you know? Some don't die at all. I'm sorry, Ray. Winston mentioned that she passed away. I didn't mean to bring it up. Hey, isn't that a van from the wedding cake company? Hang on. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, the guy, the guy had the wrong address. Winston asked me to make sure the cake is delivered. He's so thoughtful. Wait, slow down. <sighs> Peggy, if we don't catch that van, you won't have your special cake at your wedding. What? Faster, faster, go faster. Not pulling over. You're a gangster. Do something. Get out there and get him. Here. Here, take the wheel. Careful, don't hurt my cake. Don't worry. Get that. I'll follow you. Tell Winston I got the cake. Wow, that's great. I'll take it right to him. All done. <sighs> Thank you, Wei. Thank you. You know, it makes me think. Uh -oh. <laughs> the wedding just won't be perfect without that. We're going to the temple, aren't we? I knew you'd understand. Do you have any family here at all? Uh, no, not anymore. 
Well, you're wrong, Way. You have family. You have us. Thanks. No, I mean it. I know Winston's work can be... rough, but it makes us a family, too. Yeah, I appreciate it. Man needs brothers. Uncles. Sisters, too. To help me with that soft side. Don't laugh. It's very important. You know, I could probably set you up. <laughs> you're a good-looking man. <laughs> Thanks, man. But I'm not looking for anything serious right now. I wouldn't want it to reflect poorly. Ah, uh, uh-huh. You're still playing around, huh? Well, let me know if you ever change your mind. I know some nice girls. Wait here. I'll be right back. Energy flows among flowers. We are all everywhere. I am here, not here. I love flowers. Ah, brother. So true, so true. You don't belong here. Ah, what is belonging, brother, when we're all part of the same cosmos? Is anyone when we are all each other part of a single great organism that never dies ah brother so true so true
them? Oh, wait, thank you so much. How can I say no? Peggy, do you have any Winston's clothes in the back? I don't think these robes are gonna make the right impression. What do you think about this? Yeah, sure. Thank you. It's my pleasure. You're gonna be my sister. My car! My car! Your mother would be proud of you. I hope so. Sometimes I wonder. No, I can see it. Life isn't perfect. It never is. But you have a good heart. Peggy, I... Nope. I know. Women's intuition. It's the same with Winston. He talks tough. Do what you have to do, but you always remember your people. Remember the people who love you. Then you'll always be happy. Thanks for being so helpful, Way. I really appreciate it. Of course. It. Sometimes this wedding thing stresses me out. There's so much to get right, and you only get one try. Don't worry, Peggy. It's gonna be perfect. Oh, it's so nice to find someone you can really rely on. I can see why Winston likes you. <laughs>